Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with four all new spring decor DIYs. Each project is really easy to create. I really hope that you enjoy today's video. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. For the first DIY today, I'm gonna to be using this square framed sign from Dollar Tree. And the first thing I'm gonna be doing to it is just flipping it over and taking out the square insert from the inside. Then I'm gonna be painting the entire outside of the frame with my Java colored chalk paint from Folk Art. And then once that's all dry, I'm gonna be taking my plaster chalk paint from Waverly on a Dollar Tree stencil brush and I'm just painting that randomly over top of that Java color to give it a more distressed look. And then pulling off the beads that were on the top of this piece, I'm going to be saving those for another project, but for this one, I'm not going to be using them. Then I'm using this wood piece. This did come in a pack from Dollar Tree, and I'm painting the front of it with my Waverly paint in the color plaster. Once that's all painted, I'm going to start putting everything back together. I did put the piece that I took out in the beginning back into the frame and then I'm using three of the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm hot gluing those right in the center of this piece. I'm then placing hot glue on all three of those blocks to attach my square piece that I painted with that plaster color. I thought it would be really cute to add some of these letter wooden beads to spell out the word spring so I'm just stringing these onto a piece of jute and then to hold all of my beads in place I did do a double knot next to the letter S at the beginning and then next to the letter G I did a double knot also just to hold those beads into place so that they don't move around. Next, I'm taking those wood letter beads and I do wanna have them attached at the very top of this piece, kind of like strung around each side. But since I had already attached that wood piece in the middle, I did have to go back and take out those pieces from the frame just so that I could uh, string it a little bit better. So I just got those all centered and then for the ends of the jute, I just hot glued those down on the back side of my square wood piece. Then I just put everything back together into the frame. I'm then gonna be adding some really cute flowers. I'm using these natural picks from Hobby Lobby. These can be found in like the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. And I did take one of them out and I just kind of shredded it up a little bit because I did wanna use each one of these pieces individually and then just have them placed where I want them to be. I'm also using some of these pretty purple flowers from Joanne Fabrics. And like I said, I'm just wanting to place them on individually so that I can really get the look that I want. So I'm just hot gluing them starting on the left side, as you can see me doing here. I did the natural picks on the bottom and then I put the purple flower on the very top. And I am doing this for four of them going across. So um, once I had all of them a place where I wanted them to be and all hot glued, I did wanna add a little bit of detail. So I'm using one strand of raffia for each one of my little flowers that I have. And I just made a really tiny bow and then I hot glued that right on the top of all of my little flowers. And this is what the piece looks like all finished. It's such a simple, beautiful home decor piece and it goes with so many different types and styles of decor. Now moving into DIY number two. For this one, I'm using this wooden cube from Dollar Tree and I'm just painting the entire thing with the Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And then I'm also gonna be using two of these wooden paint sticks. These are either from Lowe's or Home Depot. And I'm also painting both of these with that plaster color paint. And I did lose the clip where I hot glued the two paint sticks together. But as you can see here, I just glued them together. I'm then gonna be attaching these two paint sticks on the inside of my cube piece. I just used hot glue on the inside center and then just attached the two paint sticks. I did want this piece to have a little bit of a rustic feel to it, so I used some of my Java Color chalk paint on a paintbrush and I just very lightly dry brushed it all over this entire piece, like I said, just to give it more of a rustic look. Next, I'm using one of these wooden planks from Dollar Tree and I'm painting on my wood tent from Folk Art in the color Walnut 
Once it was all painted on, I just used an old rag to wipe away the excess wood tint. And then I'm gonna be using a stencil that I picked up from Amazon. I am only gonna be using the top of the stencil that says fresh cut flowers. I'm just getting those words all centered on my wood plank and then I'm using my Waverly paint and plaster to stencil on those words. Once the paint has dried, I'm then removing the stencil. Next, I'm taking a piece of jute and I'm stringing the jute around the handle of this mini watering can. This watering can did come from Hobby Lobby a few years ago that I had gotten on clearance. I'm just kind of seeing how long I want my strand of jute to be because I am, like you can see here, hot gluing the jute at the very top of my paint sticks. And then I'm gonna be using some more hot glue to attach my wooden plank that I had stenciled the fresh cut flowers words onto. And then to fill the cube, I used a piece of paper towel to put in there first because I did not have a ton of Spanish moss left over, but I put the Spanish moss on top of the paper towel. And then I used some of these really pretty pink flowers. These ones are from Joanne Fabrics. I just pinched them off to be a little bit smaller, place them inside of the Spanish moss, and then also some of these little white flowers from Hobby Lobby, I placed all around the pink ones. Then to add some detail around the center of my cube, I'm using some of this green and cream checked ribbon. This is from Joanne Fabrics. I measured it to the length that I need it to be to go around the center of the cube, and then I just hot glued the ends of that around the back side. For the last step in this project, I made a double jute bow, or I took two strands of jute, created a bow, and then for the tail ends of the bow, I just cut those down a little bit, and then I hot glued that bow right in the center of that checked ribbon on the front of my cube. This is what the piece looks like all finished. It was another really simple spring project that is perfect to add to any tabletop decor this spring. Moving right along into DIY number three, for this one I'm using a four inch grapevine wreath and then some of these pink and purple flowers that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. The grapevine wreath I think is from Michaels. As you can see here, I've already taken apart some of the flowers. These ones are super easy to take apart. I just pulled them off and then if I needed them to be a little bit shorter, I would just use my scissors to cut them down. But I am doing them in sections. You saw me hot gluing them on. I just hot glued a bunch of like the purplish blue ones down in a section. And then once I was done with that, then I started going over to the pink ones and I would just hot glue all of the pink ones down. And I did stick them in between like some of the parts of the grapevine wreath just so that they would stay in place a little bit until the glue fully dried. So as you can see, I just rotated between the two colors and then once I was done attaching all of the flowers, I then started adding some of the Spanish moss from Dollar Tree around all of the flowers on the inside of the wreath and then also on the outside of the wreath. And then in between all of the flowers too, if I had any little open spaces, I would add some of the Spanish moss. At the end, it will start to look really messy. That's because Spanish moss is really messy. But at the end, I just use my scissors to trim down that moss a little bit and make it look more neat. And this is the wreath all finished. This one was by far the easiest project in today's video. I think this one turned out perfect for spring. I just really love these two colors together. And now for the fourth and final DIY today. For this one, I'm using a scrap piece of wood and this piece is 18 inches long and I'm just using my Craftsmart wood stain once again and I'm painting it on with a paintbrush. Once it was all painted on, I then used my old rag just to wipe away any excess that was on the wood. For this project today, I'm using these wood letters to spell out the word spring, and these ones are from Michaels. They are two inches by three inches, and I wanted them all to have a white background, so I'm painting them with my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. Once the paint was fully dry, I then started to attach a piece of jute to the very front center of my letter S. To attach the jute, I'm using hot glue and a few different spots to hold it into place. 
Next, I'm gonna be adding some of these really small pink flowers from Joanne Fabrics. I did cut them down super small because I'm gonna be adding them one by one to the jute that I just added onto the S. To attach them, I'm using some hot glue and I am leaving a space in between the areas where I'm adding the pink flowers because I will go back through and add some other flowers to this piece as well. For the other flowers I'm adding are these like purple flowers. These are also from Joanne Fabrics. I just love having purple and pink together for spring. As you can see here, I'm cutting the purple flowers down in very tiny pieces and hot gluing them on top of the jute, just like I did with the pink flowers. I continue to add the purple flowers in all of the open spaces on my letter S, and then I did the same design for my letters R and N. Then for the rest of my letters, P, I, and G, I attached Spanish moss to the very front of the letters. I used hot glue on the wood part of the letters and then just pressed the Spanish moss on top it was looking super messy, but once I had all of the moss attached, I used my scissors to just trim it down quite a bit so that it looked nice and neat. I wanted these letters to have a little bit more color, so I added some reindeer moss right over top of the Spanish moss. I did the same thing. I just attached it with some hot glue, and then once I had it all attached, I trimmed it down a little bit so that it looked nice and neat. And again, I did this for the letters P, I, and G. Then to have these letters tie in with the letters S, R, and G, I added some of these pink and purple flowers on the top left-hand side, and I did that for the other letters that were exactly like these. Next, as you can see here, I'm just spacing all of the letters out and standing them up where I want them to be before I start attaching them. To attach each letter, I just use hot glue on the bottom side of the letter, and then I would press it down onto my stained wood piece. I continued to do this for all of the letters. And this is what the piece looks like all finished. This is the perfect tabletop shelf or mantle piece. I think it is so pretty and it was super easy to do. I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Please be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I would love to hear in the comments which project from today was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching.